friends in the previous session we have seen what an identity is we have seen this identity also now in this session we will see some examples and understand how this identity is applied can you find the value of 1015 square this identity makes it easier to find the solution of large numbers our first step will be dividing this large number into the sum of two simple numbers so 1015 will be written as the sum of 1000 and 15 now let's apply the identity now we will consider the value of a as 1000 and the value of b as 15 now we will apply the identity and expand this so a square will become 1000 square in the same way 2ab will be written like this and b square will be like this after simplification we will get this answer so we have seen that by applying this identity one can easily find the square of any number let's move on to the next example Can you guess the square of this expression? Like in the previous example, this identity will help us in solving this problem too. But what shall we write in the place of a and b? Here we will consider a as 5x and b as 7y. Therefore, the value of 5x plus 7y square will be equal to this. After simplification we will get this as our final answer This cannot be simplified further because there are no similar terms So we have seen that we can also use this identity to find the square of an expression Let's see one last example Can you find the value of 3xy plus z square You are absolutely right. Once again, we'll apply this identity. But what shall we write in the place of a and b? Here we can consider a as 3xy and b as z. So in the right-hand side, we will get 3xy square plus 2 multiplied by 3xy multiplied by z plus z square. After simplification, we will get 9x square y square plus 6xy plus z square. So, friends, in this session, we have seen how this identity is applied. In the next session, we will see some common mistakes which occur while applying this identity.